In this question we're told that x equals sine theta and y equals sine 2 theta. Now then, to find the exact gradient, we need to find dy by dx. But y and x are given in terms of theta. So to work this out, we have to use the chain rule, which in this case states that dy by dx equals dy by d theta over dx by d theta. Now, that means that dy by d theta is this differentiated. Now, sine 2 theta differentiates to 2 lots of cos 2 theta. We times by the 2, and sine differentiates to cos. Sine theta differentiates just to cos theta. So to find the exact gradient when theta is pi over 6, we replace theta by pi over 6. So at pi over 6, we get 2 lots of cos, well, 2 lots of pi over 6 is pi over 3, all divided by cos of pi over 6. Now we could here get a calculator, so 2 cos of pi divided by 3 divided by cos of pi divided by 6, press enter, and we get 2 root 3 over 3. That's where our at theta equals pi over 6. The second part says show that the Cartesian equation is given by y squared equals 4x squared take away 4x to the power of 4. Right then, we know that y equals sine 2 theta. So y squared equals sine 2 theta all squared. Now then, sine 2 theta is the same as 2 sine theta cos theta. That's one of the double angle rules. So that's squared. So if I now square each term in turn, I get 4 sine squared theta cos squared theta. However, cos squared, cos squared theta is 1 minus sine squared theta. If I then expand this, I get 4 sine squared theta take away 4, 2 plus 2 is 4, sine to the power of 4 theta. But sine theta just equals x. So this equals 4, x squared, take away 4, x to the power of 4, as required.